Hi guys, December blessings. I can't believe that we are finally at the end of what's been a little bit of a crazy year, to be honest. I was thinking about like this this morning, about like, you know, um, just the year in general. And for me on a personal level, it's definitely been like the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. It's just very, very interesting time. But I think it's that whole thing of what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So as ever, I'm coming on to do December's guidance reading and seeing what the month holds and has in store. I'll be doing the um, opportunities, obstacles and lessons and then I'll be finishing with a um, Bless Be card by Lucy Cavendish um, just as an overall theme or conclusion of reading. So let's see what December time has in store. Oops, let's see what we need to know about and um, yeah, hopefully it will all come good. Right, Opportunities has literally just popped itself at me. Let's see if there's any obstacles to beware about. And the final lessons. And then we'll get going. Okay. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I think some of this is, is highlighting with what's going on in the external world at the moment. Oops. Okay. And that one. Really, really interesting cards. Quite strange cards in some ways, but I understand why they're there. So opportunities. We're going into the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is a cool card. It's all about the flow of abundance, prosperity. It's looking at where you can make a difference, where you can put your time, your, your dedication, your energy into. So this is usually seen as like a business card. It's very good for those that are perhaps, um, you know, investing in a working situation. It could be that maybe you're harnessing skills or crafts or hobbies that you plan in time to sort of turn in maybe more of like a business venture. It could be maybe you're doing artwork or crafting and you want to sort of create a business from that in time but it's basically head down focusing on where you can make a difference where you can make a change and investing in yourself through your kind of creativity and your every day-to-day -day kind of world for those of you that have a more kind of practical job it's literally just sort of showing up doing what's required working hard to make the money sort of work and flow for you to keep the kind of happy house on the hill. So if home life has been a little bit compromised of recent times, it's allowing everything to sort of come good again within your home. It could be that maybe you're working hard to sort of, you know, um, obtain finances so that you can tweak your existing house or possibly some of you may be wanting to move in the near future. And if that's the case, this card is giving you the green lights to sort of allow all of that change to happen so that you can have the sort of um, the best of everything that you seek. So it's almost like working hard, providing for your family, having that happy home life as a return. So everything is flowing like, you know, that the number eight is all about flow. There's no beginning. There's no middle. There's no end. It's evolving. It's continually improving for you. So really, really interesting. Good time in terms of success. You know, within this, often people see a version or an idea of success. So that's available for us this month. So the December time is a really important time to harness this. Now, as we're moving into any obstacles or any blockages, we're going into the Seven of Wands. Stay grounded, guys. This is a really important card, I feel, with the collective world, with the sort of um, environment that we're finding ourselves in. I don't like to mention the, um, you know, the kind of COVID and this new variant, but I think a lot of that is what this is about. Don't buy into things that, you know, perhaps are being heightened or manipulated to cause fear, to cause anxiety. Stay grounded, stay balanced, pull back a little bit from the world. I'm not saying that COVID or these new variants don't exist. We know they exist. They are, you know, deadly in their own way, but also people have to lead from the front. And when we're seeing leaders not wearing masks, not implementing a lot of the basic rules and procedures that they're banging on about. There's massive red flags, there's massive question marks. And I think what's really important with obstacles here is to not get caught up in that pantomime of the outside world, 
stay focused, stay grounded on your immediate space, how you want your immediate world to be. You can't change what's going on outside there, but you can change how you respond independently to stuff, you know. I think it's really important to hold space for people as well. If people want to be vaccinated, they can be vaccinated. If people want to be unvaccinated, they can be unvaccinated. We should be, you know, mature enough to be able to value each other's you know ideas and sort of you know ways of of life without it being a problem or being reactive or restrictive but this card is needing to pull back a little bit so if you are someone that wants to defend or wants to go in guns blazing ask yourself where's the importance of that because i always say to people when you know your truth whatever side of the fence you might be sitting on when you know your truth why do you need to justify yourself why do you need to justify your actions if you know your truth live by your own truth and that will speak volumes you know so be cautious of that now as we're moving into lessons lessons is an interesting one we're going into the two of swords two of swords is feeling a little bit pulled at times there's a little bit of tug of war going on around you some of you may be a bit overwhelmed maybe a bit fearful but again it's that whole thing of what doesn't kill us makes us stronger you know when i look back over the year that i've had I mean, my sister had a very aggressive brain tumour and I've had to watch her go through all of that. Obviously, I was attacked in my own home by a client and um, I've had to make massive changes to my business. The sort of physical world going on around us as well and all the complications that that's had, you know. But through all of that stuff, still going, still standing. And I think that's the key thing, you know, sometimes we get briefly overwhelmed, but it is that thing of what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. So sometimes with the two of swords, we get caught up into perhaps feeling like we can't always be ourselves, and we have to accommodate and we have to provide for the people. But this is reminding you to stay in control, to do things on your format, on your terms. So you might know exactly what you want to be doing, but feel sometimes like you can't fully implement that or you feel sometimes that like you can't fully invest in that but actually you can because this water is very calm it's very gentle there's a sort of half moon which represents new beginnings and she's a bit blindfolded she maybe can't always see the wood for the trees sometimes things happen and we don't recognize initially that it is a gift but it's recognizing and it's trying to see any changes that have happened if you can as gifts it's like when i was attacked particularly i was very adamant that that was, you know, very, um, very aggressive, very uncomfortable, very unnecessary, very unneeded. But on a deeper level, I've realised that that actually needed to happen to make some changes, to put new boundaries in place. And had I not have had that experience, I wouldn't have put those boundaries in place. I wouldn't have learnt the lessons and the things I needed to change to keep my business a bit more on my own structure, on my own terms. So it's remembering that everything we go through in life, even if it feels confusing and we can't always understand the reasons as to why, on a higher place, on a higher level, there will be a reason. But this is all about breaking free from criticism, from, you know, setbacks, from judgments and, and singing and dancing to the bravery of your own tune, of your own rhythm, not compromising or sort of, you know, feeling like you've got to cater for other people so much. Now, let's pick a final card from the Blessed Bee deck to see what December time has as an overall conclusion for us. Oops. See what we need to know about here. Oh, interesting. Very interesting with them, um, with everything going on. A blessing for healing of injury or illness. Well, I think, again, that speaks for itself because so many people are feeling the effects of this. Obviously, we've got people that are suffering from the COVID and other illnesses. We've also got people's mental health that is suffering from the backlash of these lockdowns, the way that we're currently living our life, the anxieties with mask wearing. It's a tale of two halves. Mental health is rife. The amount of clients I'm helping on a personal level with their mental health at the moment, I've never seen anything like it. So I think when we talk about a blessing for healing of injury or illness, I think that caters for all of that stuff. It's physical illnesses, but it's also the mental illnesses that go undiagnosed or unrecognised at times. So I see this as a really powerful time 
to sort of, you know, to take action, to sort of help, to heal, to nurture these energies. And it's interesting, she's out in the woods here. So, you know, nature is one of the best ways to feel cleansed, to feel rejuvenated by any of this sort of trauma that maybe you're experiencing or maybe you're going through on a personal level or collectively. So continue to feed, continue to nourish the soul, but continue to invest in you. And if you are someone that is physically ill at the moment, make sure again that you, you know, you do the things that you need to be done to manage then sort of keep a healthy balance of that. So really, really interesting. That I think speaks volumes to me on lots of different areas, lots of different ways. So December's looking to be a little bit interesting for us. I hope you can make sense of these cards. Just to briefly recap, opportunities, abundance, prosperity, it's all there for you. Work hard, play hard, enjoy everything that you're doing. Remember, if you've got to do something every day, you must enjoy what you're doing. And if at any point that enjoyment goes or you don't feel connected, that's when a change is required. Obstacles. You know, don't get caught up in the pantomime of life. Don't get caught up in the outside um, experiences that you can't change or you can't control. Remember, everything in this world is temporary. When it's great, it's temporary. But even when it's negative, it's still temporary, you know. The lessons, again, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Sometimes the things that we see as a sacrifice end up being a massive blessing in disguise. So be mindful of that. And again, um, December's kind of blessings card a blessing for healing of injury or illness. So it's taking away anything undesirable, whether it's physical illness, mental, or even spiritual. So very, very interesting. So I hope this resonates. I hope it makes sense. Stay safe, stay well, have an awesome December time, guys. Enjoy it to the best of your abilities. And I'll catch up with some of you lovelies very soon. Take care. Bye for now.